Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, Rad here from Radko Tarot and this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon and Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading July 9th to July 15, 2018. Before we start, I want to announce you guys that, guys, that uh, the monthly readings are already up at the channel for July and if you haven't checked them yet, please feel free to do so. And uh, also, if you like them, you can as well participate and <clears throat> support the channel furthermore by purchasing the in-depth uh, monthly tarot reading that focus for your career and for your relationship or rather for the career of your star sign and relationship as well for the particular month for just as little as, la as one dollar that's it uh, and uh, you can do so at my website by uh, going into the extended monthly tarot reading section so that being said uh, let's go to cancer's reading for the upcoming week and the first card marking up the topic for cancer is going to be the full card the second one that shows the core of the situation here we do have the seven of uh, the seven of cups then is the challenges which is the judgment and uh, at the end we do have the um, the guidance that Cancer should follow that will be the Nine of Pentacles so what happens during this particular week Cancers is actually a miracle that you're gonna face looking at these card, because, big cards because um, uh, that will be an, a, a follow-up of either on an idea of yours or of something you want to ex execute or even it could be something that you have wanted to buy uh, it, it could be different for every single one of you depending on your aims however I, I will try to explain it that way the core of the situation points hopes that the that have been um, uh, these hopes until now or even aims until now was kinda unclear are they uh, achievable or not and during this week, because we do have the full card in conjunction, uh, you Cancer are going to see that actually uh, they can be quite achieved, all right? That could be, you know, getting involved with someone or starting project, etc., etc. The bottom line here is that you can make a fresh start. The bottom line is that this time around, uh, by you taking up the leap of faith, and by being positive about the future in general and not being afraid you know to take a risk as well because the fool is also about risk uh, sometimes well most of the time should I say but that risk does not measure with material um, you know with material um, expenses this risk this risk is more imaginary cancers this risk is more about um, how much you are willing to to push forward all right it's not about how much you're willing to give because you cannot give anything right now either to to that particular enterprise all you can do is just you know make the first step and and, and just believe um for the not for the greater good but more like uh, you know just believe that the things are gonna go your way and it is exactly what's gonna happen if you have the guts and the courage to make that first step now very important here to be said is that with this particular combination of cards if you decide you know to actually throw yourself into this unknown direction uh, there is no way how you can do a, a wrong step there or how you can do mistake because the seven of cups as a, uh, a core card as a core of the situation kind of protects you from it because this card usually when it is a, a very core card uh, it plays a role of a reminder or rather like of a um, of a sign so bef just before you make the wrong decision there or before you make the wrong step either way uh, something very disappointing is gonna start happening around you which is going to sober you and is gonna get, get you back on track with your goal either to be with someone else uh, or, or with someone of interest of yours or in general by uh, finding a job or you know executing a particular project now in general this week is about starting on a new path for you cancers then we do have the judgment sitting on the challenging position and when we talk about that it speaks that it's not gonna be really perfect and maybe you have to be agreed to a certain conditions alright because the judgment in a challenging position is about having to deal with some it's not opposition but with some uncomfortable circumstances as well so be prepared for that but also this card as a challenge speaks that the harder the thing is to be executed the sweetest the uh, 
the reward at the end is going to be so the more hard it is for you the bigger the price is going to be on that particular enterprise and at the end here we do have the nine of pentacles which is the guidance guys you need to be very proud of, uh, of uh, your achievements thus far not to mention that the experience you have built up according uh, regarding that particular uh, goal uh, is giving you very solid foundation here to be um, how can I place it to be quite confident you know to uh, to push on and to take the first steps that being said you shouldn't listen to anybody who is trying to talk you over and that being said uh, you need to believe uh, when we talk about the Nine of Pentacles into a, uh, a guidance card, you need to believe that the um, the rewards are going to come in your way. Because this card, when it comes to guidance, it, it speaks that you have catch the big fish, you have made the, the deal of the year, even if it may not present itself like this, all right? And basically, no matter what, you should at least, you know, at least keep it in the store, so whenever turns lucrative to put it out of it or happy for that matter so with that being said cancers this was this was your tarot reading for the week that it is yet to come july 9th to july 15 2018 i hope you enjoyed it and you liked it and in case you're interested in a private reading with me everything you need to know about it will be listed down there in the description of this video rat signing out now see you next time bye